it's interesting because Venezuela is the best example of the failure of socialism in real time the last 20 years. Uh, Venezuela was, the, was by far the wealthiest country in Latin America, anywhere south of the Rio Grande, uh, until Hugo Chavez came in on a socialist platform. Uh, let's rip off the rich. Uh, uh, he was a demagogue. Demagogue, a political leader who uses racism, sexism, wealth, and differences in false claims to gain power, pitting some against other, whipping up the passions of the mob, and shutting down reasonable debate. At first, he started out with soft despotism. Then it became tougher and tougher and tougher version of a police state, which socialism always devolves into. And you had an economy uh, 20 years ago, a gross domestic product of Venezuela that was $32 billion. In the most recent year it was measured, 2018, it is now $9 billion. That's the massive destruction of wealth. People are eating out of garbage cans in, in Venezuela. The hospitals have closed. The, the, the stores aren't providing basics like bread, milk, eggs. Uh, and fruits and vegetables. The essence of socialism is government planning. It empowers people in government to command everyone else in society and to command the allocation of resources. It doesn't work. And Venezuela has been an unfolding catastrophe since they adopted socialism. Uh, Hugo Chavez died and he was replaced by an equally bad despot. Despot, a ruler or other person who holds absolute power, typically one who exercises it in a cruel or an oppressive way. Tyrant named Maduro, and millions of Venezuelans are fleeing on foot to Colombia, to other countries, to escape this socialist paradise that Hugo Chavez and Maduro have brought to this once wealthy country. You know, Venezuela was rolling in wealth from oil. It's, it's an oil and resource, resource rich country. And the destruction of wealth for all, uh, except the ruling clique, has proceeded under socialism. Uh, but Hugo Chavez's family and his cronies have grown wealthy by the billions. And that also goes on under all socialist regimes where whoever's in power can seize the wealth for themselves and enjoy great wealth and privilege. Well, the thing about socialism that's so misleading is it always sounds so good. What? Who couldn't like all this free stuff, right? We need to put free stuff in quotation marks because it's a devil's bargain. It's a terrible trade. It's a ghastly catastrophe of a trade. You trade all this free stuff for your freedoms in every sphere of your life that matters. You know, there was a great scholar from Austria, Friedrich Hayek, who wrote a book in the middle of the Second World War called The Road to Serfdom. Serfdom, a state slavery system which forces its subject to provide labor or services for the good of the collective. He analyzed the heart of the socialist promise, which was a planned economy can do it better than a free economy. And he said, no, what this, the socialist planners who say, let's empower government to plan our lives for us and, and provide us with all these free things, what they miss is they don't understand that they're suffering from a fatal conceit. And the fatal conceit is that these socialist planners think they know more than free individuals operating in the marketplace in voluntary exchange with each other that's based on morality, that's based on my trusting the person I'm buying a good or a service from and that person trusting me to pay for that good or service. Beyond that, we have the testimony of the greatest statesman of the last century, Sir Winston Churchill, who had some wonderful quotes about uh, socialism and the failure of socialism. Socialism is the philosophy of failure, Churchill said, the creed of ignorance and the gospel of envy. That is, the socialists incite us to envy against our neighbors, against our fellow men. When a voluntary marketplace, the free society, encourages us all to work hard, to save, to invest, 
to support our families on our own and to get ahead. And the example of those who have become rich, Abraham Lincoln taught, is a good example for the rest of us to strive for in a free society. You can vote your way into socialism, as the Venezuelans did, but you have to shoot your way out. And they're shooting their way out of socialism now with riots in the streets and, and the police who are putting down those rioters and those citizens who are just asking for the freedom they once had. It sounds good. Again, it just turns to ashes in your mouth.